This is the UFI boot menu. This menu is based on group. As you can see, it uh, boots automatically in 60 seconds to the default entry, which is the auto detect entry. You can use the up and down arrows to choose a different kernel if you wish so. You can choose AMD64 for new computers, or you can choose 686 for older computers. But your best choice is just to press enter on the auto detect entry. This is the BIOS boot menu. As you can see, it automatically boots in 60 seconds. The auto entry will choose the proper kernel for your system, either an AMI D64 kernel for new computers or 686 kernel for very old computers. You can also use the, the up and down arrows in your keyboard to choose manually the Amy D64 kernel or the 686 kernel and then press enter to boot. It's suggested that you choose the Rescatax Auto option and just press enter. Once you press enter, you will see a bunch of letters on the screen. This means Rescatex is trying to boot into its desktop. After a minute or two, Rescatex will show the full desktop. This is the Rescatax startup without. If you press yes, which is the full settings, Rescap will start right away. However, you will lose uh, VNC connection, so you won't be able to control Rescatax remotely. Now we are going to choose full without, which is no button. Uh, you can change your monitor settings. So what you do is um, just change the resolution maybe. Press apply and confirm. So we are going to put the big resolution back. You can close. Do you want to change your language local? You can also choose uh, to change the local. Here we're going to change into Spanish. So, España, Español de España. We save. And rest. Rescatax is going to log out for us if we press OK here. So now we have got the local. So we're going to go quick to the options again. Full without. Yes, I want the full without, so I press no. I do not want to change my monitor settings because I have already done it. I do not want to change my local because I have done it. Yes, I want to change my keyboard layout. So I add the Spanish wing keys keyboard and I remove the English one, apply, close. So do you want to keep running BNC server? No, because I am connecting locally. So I press no. If you pressed yes, you are prompt to change your VNC password and 
you see what is your IP so that you can connect to the um, Rescatax thanks to a VNC client. So I'm going to say no. So you can see how Rescatax startup with that has been completed. And this is the Rescap self-test program. It allows you to check if Rescap will work okay on your live system or not. Some unlock verification, X-term verification, and running inside Rescatax verification will work in if you are using Rescatax. Secure and enhanced Linux support should also work if you are using Rescatax. Finally, you can check if you have boot in UFI or in BIOS mode, which both of them are right, but if you want to fix UFI, you want to boot in, if you want to fix UFI problems, you want to boot in UFI boot mode. Finally, you can check if secure boot mode is turned on or off in your computer. Don't worry, if UFI mode is turned on, you can fix problems even if secure boot mode is turned off. Finally, you can press start rescap or close the windows to start rescap. This is Rescap. By default, you will see the help page. You can use your mouse to make a bigger window and then you can read the manual which explains more or less how to use Rescap. You can learn how to use the chat and you can learn how to get your internet connection to work by maybe using a phone. When you are ready to use Rescatex, you just have to press Menu. This is the Rescap main menu. As you can see, you've got Support, Boot, Group, File System, Password, Windows, GPT, Expert Tools, and About Options. As you can read, you choose an option to read its manual. So maybe I click on Easy New Linux Boot Fix here under Group, and I can read the manual here. I can read what is this option about and I can scroll down to see every one of the steps that happen when the option is run. So, as you are told, please read the manual below carefully and press the run button when ready. This is how we use the Easy New Linux Boot Fix option. We press the Run button and Rescap will do its magic while you see the different debug lines and the status level is blinking between black and white colors. And then you are mm, you are made some questions. So which is the new Linux partition you want to fix? So it's the Ubuntu 16.041. So I press, I select the partition and I press OK. Then we are asked on which hard drive we want to install group on. So we choose the only one that there's there and we press OK. Finally, we are asked to order the UFI boot entries. 
So we can do this, we can make this bigger and just press the arrow key so that our Ubuntu entry is the first one and maybe this one which is the Windows one is the second one so that we can have this other on the UFI boot menu. Finally we press OK and as you can see now there has been a file system check with automatic fix which was OK then group configuration was updated also OK and if I'm not mistaken now a group will be restored finally we see that group was installed OK and the UFI boot order was updated OK so that means that the EC new Linux boot fix option was OK Finally, you can see the stat that the status is finished. The option has finished and you can enjoy your fix. Once you have finished to use RESCAP, you can close the window on the up right corner. And finally, you can press the on off switch on the right bottom corner and press the shutdown button here. When asked to switch off your computer, please say yes. Finally, press enter so that you can turn off your computer.